Hello, 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 and welcome to Roots of Pacha. I'm Amy Greenbottle, and I'm so excited to play this game. I've wanted to play this for quite a while. It has been out for some time now, uh, but the devs have sent me a key, and I definitely want to try it out. Now, this game is getting updated all the time, and new things are being added all the time. I was just reading through the devlogs that rideable lions are a thing in this game, and I definitely want to be seeing that at some point in the future, because that seems amazing. So we are going to be playing as a brand new character, because I have never played before. This will be awesome. All new. Look at that. There's nothing here. It's empty. <laughs> all right, we can play single player. Uh, the, you have an option for playing multiplayer. Those kind of games are up your alley. Now we start off by creating our character. That's not what we look like, though. All right, let's get our name in. The clan has named us Evie. We want. I don't know. We've got some different body type options here. Do you know what? It's kind of cute, adorable and tiny. And. No, we just we can there's lots of options for character customization so tons of things that you can change and do and just to make your character unique and adorable look at all the different color for eyes you can have i love the green eyes we need to change that hair though because that is not my hair there are tons of cute styles i mean look at that is adorable oh my goodness okay um, I usually go for something that's a bit more of a braid style. That's... Wait, let's take a look. has got braids on the side there. Let's go for that. It's really cute. Just the hair color. I love that color of green, but it's not my hair color. My hair color is more like that. Yes. Uh, beard? I don't think we want a beard. So we'll just leave that one out. Mm, I'm not much of a tattoo person either. So let's go on to our clothing. We've got a few different options. Hmm, this one is bearing our midriff. I wonder if that's because of our body type. Hold on. We'll just be a little bit taller and then we don't have to have uh, our, our midriff exposed. <laughs> Cute little yellow shoes. Love it. No hat. That is Evie if I've ever seen her. She is looking so cute and we are ready to jump into our very first game. New Year's Eve. Our first winter in this land is almost over. The clan is coming back home from the mountaintop. And look at this. Isn't this cute? Oh, look at this. This is our clan. Ooh, we are very brightly colored, I feel like, compared to our um, companions here. Igrok, Igrork, Igrork. Where does the time go? It's hard to believe you're right at passages so soon. It still feels like we found you only yesterday. Found me lost in the woods. I bet you'll have the coolest totem of everyone. Oh, that's nice of you. Maybe. I can sense there's something different about you even right now. It's my bright red hair, isn't it? I don't want the winter festival to be over. I'm not ready to go to bed. Oh, little bra. Cute. Add a one more story, please. All right, just one more. Tell the story of how we got here. I like the way you tell it. Back when the summer sun was still warm, still warmed our skin, it was time to pick the day for the next rite of passage. Walk, our great shaman, asked the spirits and got a strange answer. You must move, they demanded. No normal person should ever question the spirits, but our walk is no normal person. Why, he asked. You need to find a tree far to the east, the spirit said. Only danger awaits you here. But we didn't know of any patch of trees to the east. This gave our leader a difficult dilemma. Do we travel into unknown lands or risk disobeying the spirits? But there was one thing he'd always depend on. The clan! Yes, Atta, of course. We packed up everything and we walked. We walked and walked. And soon the leaves began to change colors. We still hadn't found our tree. Cold and tired, we traveled to the savannah, unsure of how much further we could walk. Our shaman is strong, but not infallible. He could have made a mistake. Ooh, as we were making camp, the earth shook. The ground groaned a terrible sound as the trees threatened to topple. There was no doubt this was a powerful sign. But for what? The way we had come was blocked. The wind winter was too close to go back. Then the clan did what it did best. We worked together. Some built our homes while others gathered food for the winter. We walk walked away from the group. Noticing his absence, Evie followed him into a nearby forest. Oh, guys, I'm in the story. It's me. I'm in the story. Our shaman was distraught. How can he make everyone leave their homes only to be trapped in a strange land? But then they saw it. The Pacha tree and its great roots. Very yellow leaves. Oh, look at it. Giant. How did they miss this? It's massive. <laughs> it towers over everything. You could have seen that ages away. We were home. Oh, I love the music in this. I am enjoying it. Roots of Pacha. Oh, it's so cute. All right, and there we are. We are sleeping in our bed. This reminds me, I should have Navi going, hey, hey, wake up. But no, we're good. We are walk we've woken up ourselves. We are walking over. We've got two elders here. Good, you're up. It's finally spring. Yes, excellent news. My favorite season. Time of sneezing and flowers. I know it's a different idea, but I think it'll work. We could grow food from wild seeds right here in these fields. They just need a little clearing. 
or a lot of clearing. Or a lot. I wish I could be out there with you, but my bones aren't what they used to be. I'm sure you'll find a way to help, Igorok. It's what you do. Thanks, sister. I think so, too. Okay, so we've got our first task, I guess. We need to clear out the farmland and we get to move around for the first time. So what do we have? We've got WASD to move. That makes sense. Seeds, tools, and we've got some inventory, smoke signals, map, and actions. You know what I'm loving about this? That it's labeled. I have played some games recently. Um, as I've been gearing up to go away on a little trip, I've been pre-recording a bunch of videos for this time while I'm away. And a couple of the games I played have the most confusing controls. And then they had nowhere to find out what the controls were again later. And it just meant I was pressing buttons randomly. So I'm really, I love that. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Do this always, devs. This is, this is so helpful. Especially someone with a terrible memory like myself. My stamina is here. My contributions. Okay, so I need to be helping out, contributing to the team effort, I think. All right, and we got our items, of course, down at the bottom. The first to farm, find, plant, and harvest four crops. Open the journal to learn more. Okay, open the journal with J. The first to farm, find wild seeds, plant and care for them, and pick their precious yield in a few days. All right, we, oh, we can pin that on our map. Oh, uh, I, I don't know what we're doing there. Go back there. Uh, just viewing right of passage. The clan is preparing for the right of passage tomorrow. Talk to the clan. We need to talk to everybody. There are quite a few people. And talk. You know Ignorok as your adopted grandparent with a great sense of humor. Unadopted grandchildren, marries his sibling. Okay, okay, that's cool. I'm sure you'll find seeds around the village if you look. Gathering seeds from ripe plants by harvesting them. Using your hand axe, clear the fields until the soils prepare the land for planting. Select a seed from your seed bag, then plant it on any tilled soil. Select the water skin from your tool belt and water your plants. Refill your water skin when needed at a water source. After a few days, you'll harvest this produce. Initially, you'll get seeds from wild plants and harvest from plants in your field. Okay, this makes sense. Good, so this maybe. Aha, new seeds. Oh, look, the purple carrots. Oh, I love that. And Mary, let's talk to you. Your adoptive grandmother and the person who keeps track of the weather. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's her job is, she's our weather lady. I offered a flower like this one for my rite of passage so long ago. Uh, tomorrow is going to be special. I can feel it. All right. There's more carrot seeds here. Where is everybody else though? Oh, down here. This looks like the village. There's definitely a hut here. Oh, here's a person. Hello. You know Ter as the partner of the clan's leader who puts together all the festivals. So their partner's name is Jin, and they have a child named Mana and Nock. Cute. I really like how Mana looks just like their dad, and then Nock looks just like their mom. Adorable. There's so much to do. We'll need lots of contributions if we're going to prosper in this new land. If you could contribute three different items, that would help a lot. Patchins are known to work together. Patch Patchins. Patchins, maybe, are known to work together. As a member of the Patchin clan, you're expected to contribute to its prosperity. All right. You can drop what you like to contribute every day in the contribution box by the Patchin hearth. Contributions can be used to exchange with your clan. It's the way each member appreciates the work the others have done. Okay. Prosperity is the sum of your and the rest of the clan's contributions. As if it's not spent nor exchanged. Oh, it is not spent nor exchanged. It can only go up. As the clan prospers, they'll be able to develop ideas and, ex and change how they live in meaningful ways. The clan needs more prosperity to like learn things. So we can add things. We've got lots of people here to meet. You know Dari as the caretaker of this clan's kids. She loves teaching them about the world. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so she's the teacher. This is her partner, Grob, and Ilo. I might be saying these names really wrong. Vor and Bra. Huh, cute. He's the one who wanted the story to continue last night. I don't see why Grob can't take a break from clearing that wood. I'm sure Vok could use his help. You know Juke as a clothing maker who helps his mom in dress the clan. Ah, oh, okay, so he's, he's quite young then. I have to figure out what I'm going to wear to the ceremony. Probably this. Cute. And Ibon, the sister of the clan's musician, she loves to play music as well. Parents are Aker and Kroll, and they have two siblings, Ada and Gerard. Gelrod. I don't want to copy Gelrod's offering, but nothing else fits. Oh my goodness, there's so many people in this clan to meet. You know, Gelrod's the clan's musician. Oh, right, that's so that's uh, Ibon's sibling. He's offering his first instrument. Oh, that's so nice. The leader's daughter, this is Mana, who wants to be the next in line. Okay, so she's got big ambitions then. I'm all for hard work, but Nock already made a dish. I don't know why he's still inside cooking. Ooh, what are we doing over here? Some cave painting? You know Reese as the clan's artist. She loves kids even though she doesn't have any of her own. This is Reese and her partner Ron. Ron loves playing bones even though Tet crushes him every time. You should go try it too. I heard Tet is giving stone a stone box to anyone who beat her challenge. Ooh, and who's this? They've got, like, they look like poison ivy. They got like nice flowers in their hair. The clan's healer. Oh, she does look like a healer to be honest. And she's got a sibling, oh, Vuok. Oh, here's more, aha, we discovered tomato seeds. Okay, so I was just saying, there's here's more plants that we could probably get some seeds from. 
Now, gathering the seeds doesn't seem to be using up our energy, which is good news. Can I gather this flower? No, I'm just trying to punch things. Is this, oh, this is Reese's husband. He's the one who collects water for the clan. Okay, I don't want to call Tete a cheater, but that old woman moves too fast for her age. Clan storyteller and gossip. Ah, oh, what a job to have. Can you imagine being the town gossip and like, that's your job? This is my role. I've got lots of information for you. Want to try your hand at bones? Yes. Just toss the rock and pick up the bones before it falls. See if you can get eight. Oh, it's like pickup sticks. Throw the stone and wait, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be here for a while if you want to play later. Yeah, I do want to dance. Okay, we can talk or we can dance to people. Yeah, I want to try it again. Can you explain to me what I need to do? Oh, I think I need to use the arrow keys maybe. Okay, toss the stone. Oh my goodness. Aren't they all three at the same time? That's way more difficult than you would think. Let's just, let's just leave that for a minute. What do we have in our inventory? A water skin, a torch, and a hand axe. So I guess we need our hand axe to start breaking these things. Where exactly do we want to be putting our inventory down? This is Kroll. He likes to stay busy. He's only concerned that the children do their chores. Where's the best place for us to be putting? Can I see a map? Like, where do we spend most of our time? There's two field areas. Maybe we go, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to use my hand axe. Let's just go to this bottom corner. Oh no, wait, where's water? Maybe we should do this near water. So maybe we put our field up here, the crops, then we're quite close to the water or down at the beach. There's a lot of people around. Who's this? Oh, I like their little tunic thing. To start, oh, fishing. We can fish with our hand axe, interesting. Hover your cursor over a fish to activate the mini game. Continue to hover it over it to increase the bars below. The bottom bar indicates your likelihood of catching that fish. You can try your luck anytime or wait until the bar is full. If the fish sees you, hover outside the active circle until the alert stops. Otherwise, the fish will dart away. Okay. How do we see a fish? I just need to stand very still and a fish will come. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Just hover over top. Did I get him? We caught a fish. We discovered porcupine. Neat. Okay. I love fishing and I love fishing mini games in games like in farming sims I love to do fishing or even like in Minecraft I love to do the fishing and this is a very unique way to do it I like it hit him with my rock yeah we got another one but a new record one okay let's try one more and then we need to get on with our chores <laughs> but we could probably use these as part of our contributions to the clan I mean fish that's food for everybody that's just that's really good All right hit him with your rock this seems a bit mean but there we go. Oh, we got three. That's so good. Let's talk to you while we're over here. We do need to talk to everyone. So the clan's fisher, he carries on his family legacy. Very nice. When I get nervous, I fish, but I don't need this many. Oh no. Oh, and he gets nervous, he fishes. And if you're nervous, you can try fishing too. It relaxes him. That's nice. Okay, let's clear out this bit of grass. Get a bit of wood and some plant fibers and some stone. Do you know what I like? That we're using the same tool for all of these jobs and I don't have to, to find a new tool. I appreciate that. All right, let's look at our seed bag. So we've got, these are carrot seeds. How many carrot seeds do we have? That is it. Okay, don't we have more seeds? We also have tomato seeds. I wish I had planted these in a straight row and not like a maniac, but here we are. Let's get our other tool. We've got eight tomatoes. Maybe we can find three more carrot seeds around. I might try because I think that would be good. And if we could have eight of each, actually, that would be quite a good amount. Okay. And then let's do, yeah, clear eight plots here and we'll do eight tomatoes. And then hopefully we can have eight tomatoes right next to our eight carrots. Although that tree is going to annoy me, but that's okay. Back to our seeds, tomato seeds. And then we need to switch to our water skin and get these watered. Nice. But I also want to find those carrot seeds. So we're going to have to go look around and see if we can find three more carrot seeds. Oh, we've run out of water already. So the water skin's quite small. Uh, but luckily, yeah, we did go next to the river. I think this was a good choice. Look at me. I've played farming sims before. I know things. The fields are starting to look great already. Are they? Would you consider that to be looking great? Oh, dear. All right, having a little wander. We are on the search for seeds. And I guess people to talk to because we do need to kind of meet everybody. That was one of our quests. We can't get through this field. We're going to have to go around. Oops. All right, and can we make contributions? Contribute. Fish. And do we need... Wait, can I actually one fish we're gonna keep one of each i feel it's a good idea but we've done a contribution now so that could be good we'll have to see if this number goes up at all i don't see any more seeds but i have found some people to talk to so we got vor the oldest of the kids who wants to be a hunter oh that's nice he's got half sibling and two siblings and then his parents 
Can't wait for the rite of passage. I bet Tara's going to make sweets. An ambitious little kid. Oh, little Ada. So ambitious. The youngest of the clan, little bro. Oh, they're so excited about the rite of passage. And they are ready also. It must be like what we get to be a certain age and we're considered an adult, I imagine, because they were like a bit upset that they were not going to be doing having theirs. All right, what is this building? Can I go in here? That's clearly somebody's house. It's quite a big little tent, actually. Oh, the forest is this way. Can we cross the water? Oh, we can. Oh, there's so much to explore. Walk the jammies in the forest preparing for tomorrow's rite of passage. We shouldn't disturb him. Okay, so we can't go into the forest right now. Can we fish here? Oh, yeah, we can. Let's see if we can catch another fish. We need, I feel like, didn't it say we need to contribute like three different items or something? I mean, this isn't contributing three different items, though. This is just contributing more porcupine fish. Oh, I scared him away. Patience is key. Oh, goodness me. Oh, we scared that one away as well. At least there's lots of fish, so you have like, you can constantly just keep going. Be patient. Get them. There we go. All right, we've got a few more porcupines then. I guess we'll just continue walking around. If we look at our quest, oh, working together. Tear, can't wait to see your first three unique contributions. Tear tallies contributions at the end of every day. Contribute three different items. Okay. Contribute three different items. What kind of, I guess we could contribute some rocks maybe? I mean, that's not a super exciting contribution. Oh, look at this person with their cool wolf skin. The one who keeps the predators away and the mother of wolves. Does that mean Juke is a wolf? Little, little wolfy Juke. <laughs> the wolves can pick up on everyone's excitement. I bet they'd love if you gave them a treat. Oh, she's given me some red meat to give to the wolves. I don't know where the wolves are, but... Oh, here's a wolf. Oh, okay, let's give him some meat. Gift him the meat. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Pet him or inspect him? He doesn't seem to trust us enough. He doesn't want us to be petting him. But we did give him some meat, so maybe in a few days he'll be happier. I wonder how close we are to have meeting everyone, because this feels like a lot of people to, like, chat to. Oh, 20 out of 27, that's actually pretty good. They've all come around for the music, it's really sweet. All right, I think let's contribute some of these rocks. I apparently can't put the platform wrapper in, but I can put this thing in. I guess we could contribute all of our stuff for today. We're going to get more of it anyways. The plant fiber for some reason cannot be contributed, but... All right, someone's in here. Looks like they're eating. The leader's son is Nock, uh, who would rather be in the kitchen than in front of a clock. Okay, so he does the cooking. Cooking relaxes me. Try main compot. Hey, pomegranates. I've already made five. You can cook at the patch and hearth of your house if you build one. Okay. The recipes you can make depend on the utensils you have. You can get more utensils from Tear, and they'll become available as your clan prospers. Select your recipe and fulfill its requirements to cook something. So we can cook something with any tree fruit. So we've got a pomegranate, so let's cook this. Cooking, cooking. I don't know what this is. We made something, like a fruit salad. Oh, it's the compote. Of course it is, that's what we're supposed to be making. If we talk to them now, uh, no, nothing there. If we go into here though, hmm, I don't know. Let's go back outside. I wonder if we can contribute the compote or do we eat it? Uh, eat it to gain 46 stamina. We can dance with it. Let's eat. Yeah, that's giving us some more stamina. That's good. Oh, have we talked to all of these people? Oh, the fire watcher. Okay. He watches the fire. Let's see. Oh, I think you, a couple of you might be new. Yeah, Voda, a tracker. That's cool. Oh, that's Reese. We've met Reese. Have we met Reese's husband, Ron? Yes. Oh, they don't want to dance with us. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Oh, it's Aker, the clan's tool maker. She prefers to stay busy. She's given us some plant fiber. Open your inventory. Once there, you can craft in an empty slot or in the dedicated crafting slot. Choose the item that you want to craft and to fulfill the requirements for the item. Instructions for crafting more items. Right, our clan needs to prosper and then we can craft even more items. So let's open our inventory and then put our plant fiber in. No, we have to select something here. A stone box, dirt floor. Okay, so we can make a dirt floor. Is there a reason that we want to be doing this? I guess we could put this down somewhere, but not inside someone's house. Yeah, they don't want us to put dirt floors in their house. Which, I mean, that's fair enough. Let's so, let's go put this outside. It's like a little path. Can we put it here? Wow, okay. I don't know if that's what we wanted to do. It doesn't look super exciting, but it is what it is. All right, she's sleeping. I think that's the town gossip. And storyteller, to be fair. But, oh, it is getting dark, actually. We have contributed some items, at least. Oh, hello, have I talked to you before? I have. Okay, so not who I was looking for then. Do we have a hut? One of these must be ours, right? Look, these guys are still having just a jam session over here. Love it. People won't dance with me. Can I dance by myself? Yes, I can. I don't need to dance with you. I can dance by myself. Let's be a bit closer to the fire. We're just, oh no, stop trying to dance with other people. Nope, stop. Stop, stop trying to dance with other people. There we go. <laughs> right by the fire, like that is looking lovely. Oh no, and everyone's leaving. 
All right, I think we need to probably find our house. If we look on the map, I have one of these huts ours. They're getting filled up. I wonder where we live. Or do we just have to go inside and just choose a bed? Let's just go into this main house here. I never did find any more carrot seeds. Like if I just, can this be my room? I don't want to dance. Stop dancing. I don't think that's my bed. Your day starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 2 a.m. the next day. To save your progress, go to bed before 2 a.m. To find your way back to bed, you can use your map. Oh, I can look at my house. Okay, which one's my house? That one, okay. I, oh, right, because those are my grandparents. My adopted grandparents, that is. Right, I forgot that I lived with them. Quick, quick. Do you want to go to sleep for the day? Yes, we've had a very successful day. We've planted some seeds. We did some fishing. Look, clan's contributions, 1170. So clan prosperity is now at 2166, which is very exciting. We've had a very good first day here in Roots of Pacha. It's the rite of passage today. The clan has traveled far for this day. I think we're into the woods now. Walk. When I first asked Pacha about this day, she called us to leave our old home. We traveled far, but she rewarded us with a safe and fruitful land. She's given us much. Today, we honor her with a promise. So when our totems are ready to reveal themselves, that we're asked to serve the land, the spirits, and our clan. Let us begin. Ivan, Frere, and Nock, how will you seal this promise? With Patches Rocks, I've discovered the magic of sound. Today, I offer my first instrument. Uh-oh. Guys, did we bring anything? I I emptied my inventory into the contributions. Ivan, we've heard the roar of your music. The cave lion is the spirit that protects you. Oh no, I'm going to just throw in some grass. And I'm, I'm not going to have anything fancy like a cave lion. It's going to be the mouse that's going to protect me and it's not going to help. It's in Patches where I learned to watch the movements of fish. Today I offered this catch she gave me this morning. Oh, see? If I had had this morning to go fishing, maybe I could have offered a catch. Oh, no. Rhea, you've shown your patience on the riverbanks. The animal that protects you is the bear. Of course, because the bear was a good fisher. Like, yeah, but maybe we're not around the circle, so maybe we don't have to do this. Patches taught me the art of combining different ingredients to make something mouth-watering. Today I want to offer my best dish. Oh, see, we even had a chance. We could have added put the berry compo in, but I ate it instead. Disaster has struck. I only know one creature that shares your passion for food. The wild boar protects you. Oh man. Please don't ask me what I brought. Oh no, now I'm over here. I have to do it by myself. Evie, how will you seal your promise? Seeds that grow quickly into food we can harvest. A fish that I was lucky enough to catch. A flower that blooms like friendship. A dish that gives us stamina for our day. I think seeds that grow quickly. We are definitely going to be the seed person. Oh, thank goodness. We just got seeds. We didn't have to have it in our inventory. Patcha admires your passion for plants. Your plants will grow faster. Oh, cool. So we get some sort of buff because we've made this kind of promise. Whew. For generations, we've been guided by the spirits of animals. But long ago, when Patcha first plucked humanity from the stars, it was her ancient spirit who advised us. So who's my protector? Oh, Evie, that same spirit protects you now. The tree of Patcha. The tree of Patcha is my protector. That's right. I've got a whole tree. No boar or bear or uh, whatever the other animal was. Whatever Patches plans are, you should know we are here with you. Cute. I've like been accepted into the tribe now. This is a great celebration. Oh, can we meet everybody now? Because, yeah, there's still some people we haven't met. Ooh, good. Okay, this is going to work. Wait, is this actually comp working together? Talk to Tear. Oh, for contributing things. And this, your seeds will grow faster for the first spring. Oh, only for the first spring. Okay. Okay, apparently we looked cool up there. People did make sweets. It was amazing. Everything was so good. Let's just make sure we've, you know, chatted with everybody because this is like, there we go, Grob, the clan's hunter. I'm not sure. I like that Pacha has more plans for our clan. Are you questioning the great spirits? People love dancing. I love it. This is such a jazzy little place to be. Who's the person I needed to talk to about my contributions? They were blonde. It's not, not you. Is it you? Thanks for contributing. I have something to give you after the feast. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I guess we need to talk to them after. Oh, here's Jin. Hello, Jin. Mana. Uh, hypothetically, which would make a better leader? A boar or a horse? Um, I think a horse. Exactly. A leader needs to move fast and look out for the group. Like me. Okay. Great. Your energy's a little different now. And Garrick, the thinker of the clan. He's usually contemplating how things work. Uh, the patch of tree totem seems pretty important. Thank you. Yes. Now, that was an exciting ceremony, wasn't it, though? Okay. Have we talked to everybody? I guess we could just do some dancing. Don't you just love to dance? I do. Oh, I, I can't dance here. Maybe if I dance over here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I love my dance moves. They're fantastic. All right. We, what do we do now? You always make me so proud. Oh, this is our grandpa. He's so lovely. What do we do now? What happens if I just try to wander away from the ceremony? Oh, do you want to go back? Yes. I am the curator of seeds. Working together, you contributed three items. Oh, good. That's uh, one of our journal quests done. Uh, we need to go talk to Tara about that. Yeah. She's over here somewhere. So I guess that's... Oh, she's right there. Oh, good. It has a little exclamation mark above her head, so we know. It's so good to see you contributing so much. Keep it up. I had an extra solar dryer. Is that 
Like a hanging, like a clothes rack. I wonder what I do with that. Wait, aren't we just... Where are we? We're in the forest. How do I get home? Where do I even live? Oh, to the land over here. I thought we had selected to leave. We need to go do our seeds. Ooh, what's this? There's new different seeds in here, though. Bean seeds, yes! I want to grow some beans. Oh, maybe we should look around the forest, actually, to see if there's other things like that. What is that? Hello? It doesn't seem to respond to you. If only we could get them to trust us. Suddenly, the land is inspiring. The clan to have ideas on ways to improve how we live. We can discuss ideas. Ideas require the clan to have certain prosperity and items. Okay. So, new idea. Approaching the animals in the forest. Is this going to be... Oka has a new idea. Oka has seen the friendly animals nearby and thinks we can get closer. Talk to Oka to know more. Okay, let's go find Oka then. I want to know more about animals. Maybe we can get the animals... I can't punch that. That's fair. Oh, there's more seeds up here. Oh, these are carrots. Oh, that's what I was looking for actually was carrots. Those ones are not quite ready yet. There are tons of carrot seeds up here. Ooh, there's some wild boars up there. That's a bit dangerous. I bet you they would attack. Probably don't want to get too close. Don't mind me. I'm just discovering potato seeds. Probably don't get too close to their babies also, but let's just keep walking by them. So I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Quinoa. Ooh, I love a bit of quinoa. Got a bit of rose hip as well. And uh, there's all sorts of things. And we can go quite far. Oh, there's a cave here. I bet you that's a bit dangerous. I wonder if you can get different fish in this water because this is a different area. All we've managed to catch so far are those porcupines. I wonder if we can get something different because we are in the mm, forest and a bit like up a mountain. A hammer. That's interesting looking. Let's try again. Let's see if we can get something else. Another hammer. Okay, cool. Oh, we can go behind the waterfall. Oh, this game is so cute. There is a lot to discover, I think, in this game. This is a shortcut to the village. Do you want to go back? Yes. Why not? That was a nice shortcut. Oh, that's the wrong way. This is that's the woods. We have to cross here. But that's good that there's a shortcut to get back. I like that because you can wander quite a distance. And up there, of course, we're going to be finding different seeds and the rose hip, and we can get different kinds of fish up there. All I think probably very important. Let's go see if we can find our crops again. And then if we do come across the person who we need to talk to, then that's also good. But I grew stuff. Oh wait, down here, I think. Down here and to the left. Can look at the map. Yeah, right over there. You can, oh, you can even see them planted on the map. That's quite good. Okay, you, your house, patch and hearth, contribution box, and the forest access. Oh, I did see a question or exclamation mark over here. There we go. Uh, this is about the animals. You saw those beautiful animals too. They don't seem afraid, but don't pay as much attention either. I heard them react to some bird songs. So I asked Ibon to sing when nearby, but her beautiful voice doesn't seem to work. I do remember a story about animals that like music though. Okay, can we research? Tetsu would know the story about the animals and music. I'll work on it. All right, Oka has been gotten working on his idea, which is great. So hopefully we can maybe domesticate those. I think they look like little sheep. All right, and here are our crops. And now they do need watering. We do need to plant some more. So we did get we did get some more carrot seeds. And I did need three more. But these ones won't be ready at the same time. But that's okay. And then if we go back to our other tool, we can clear out a bit more space. Ooh, we're getting quite tired though. It's just dropped down into the yellow. But let's look into our seed bag. What do we have? We've got two potato seeds, two quinoa seeds, and three bean seeds. So we'll do beans there. And then I think we'll just clear out this little area as well. We'll have more space tilled than we actually have seeds for, but I think that's okay. And two potato seeds, and then our two quinoa seeds. And then we just need to get all of these watered, which is quite a lot of watering, but I think we can do it. New idea, not to the river again. Vada thinks there's a more convenient source of water just underground. Okay, so we need to talk to Vada, and hopefully we don't have to keep running back and forth all the time to get water. Although I did specifically plant our seeds next to the water so that it was fine, but probably as an idea for some sort of like well, and then we would have to do it as, maybe as quite as often. No, actually, you know what we need? Not a well, irrigation. Maybe she has an idea for irrigation using underground water. No, I don't think that makes any sense. Right, there we go. We've got all of those watered and all the seeds that we currently have are planted. I think that's good. We are gonna need to clear all of this space out at some point, but now is not the time. I guess let's look at the map. Oh, Kifat is by the fire, so let's go over there and see what the idea is. Vada, taking a trip to the river to refill our water skins gets tiring. While taking a nap, I heard the sound of water underground. I wonder if there's a way to reach it. Missing resources. We need 20 stone so she can start thinking about this idea. So let's go over and we'll just clear out as much stone as we can. We don't have very much energy, but, you know, we have some, so we could probably get 20. Oh, that's our watering skin. That's not going to work. We need to grab our hand axe again. All right, got quite a few stone there. I even got a few extra. I th I think that's good. I think we're ready to do some research over here. So let's go see Voda again. Voda, 
I've brought some stone so you can start thinking about your idea. Or not. Don't gift her the stone. I don't think that's what we need to do. Whoa. Discuss idea. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was a different choice. Research your idea. If we dig, maybe we can reach the water, but how to contain it? Idea. Well, vote as we begin working on this idea. Good. Okay, excellent. So we are discovering things. We've got to probably make some contributions for today. So let's put the two fish in. And I think the rose hips as well. What does it say about it? The fruit of the rose by any name is still a remedy for ailments. <laughs> Lovely. And we'll keep the wood and stone for ourselves for now. We also do have this though. Oh, it looks like we can put this wherever we'd like. So it makes sense if it goes kind of near to our house. Are these hammocks? Hold on. What is this? A solar dryer. Oh, okay. Oh, we... It's, it looks like a hammock. It's not. It's for drying, of course, because it was called a solar dryer. We can put anything in there and get dried fruit and dried fish and dried meats. Why don't we go catch a fish then and put it in our new solar dryer? Wait, actually, can we move that? Remove. Pick that up. Can we move this closer to the water so that we can be drying our fish as we catch them? And our food over here is over here as well. Like, this is where our crops are anyways. So, how about right... Can't go there. Can go here, though. Let's try that. Let's catch a fish and then put it in our new dryer. And, ooh, this one has four bars underneath. This is definitely a different fish. Ooh, move away, move away. It's, it, we've, we made it nervous. It saw our hand. Did we get him? Oh, it's new! A Tic Tac. Cute. <laughs> All right, can we put the Tic Tac in the dryer? Inspect. Any meat to be dried meat. Select items. One Tic Tac. Currently processing dried Tic Tac. Okay, good. That's cool. Let's go see if we can get some more fish. Because I imagine if we process the things, they'll be worth more contribution points. Because if we don't do it, someone has to, right? Someone's got to dry the fish. All right, move away. Another Tic Tac. Nice. They seem more, more likely to notice you. Oh, oh, I scared it. Patience is key and I was not patient. All right. Oh, this is one of those. Oh, no, I scared that one away as well. Oh, my goodness. All I'm doing is scaring them away now. I thought I was fairly good at this, but it's not, it's not going super well now. There we go. Okay, we've got another guy. A porcupine and I think we can stick him on here so let's inspect and select items one dried porcupine and another dried uh, tic tac and it looks like there's space for four things on here but yeah looks like two go in each basket we'll have to come check on those in the morning it is getting a bit dark now let's just make sure we have our hand eyes I wonder if I can just clear out a nice walking path to get to and from our house oh no more stamina oh we're too tired okay eat something or get some rest i guess we'll just wander around then and go get some rest it is exhausting work taking care of this little village oh my goodness all right i absolutely love this game i would love to do maybe more of a playthrough of it if you think this game would be something that you'd like to watch make sure to leave a comment and let me know that and if you've enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. But this has been two days of Roots of Patch and not a lot, but a really fun little first look. And maybe we'll continue on. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.